Not a joke. <laughs> I just want you all to have lover lovers quarrels. <laughs> so, um, I've been sleeping a lot. <laughs> like I'll lie down, asleep. I'll be sitting up. No, I'm lying down, and I'm asleep. I'll be eating food. No, I'm wrapped up in my bed like a little burrito, <laughs> and I'm asleep. <laughs> it's funny though, because my roommate has like had a really hard time sleeping. She'll like go to bed yoga, listen to ocean sounds, take melatonin. While I, on the other hand, my entire room will be rumbling because I live above a subway, <laughs> and I won't notice <laughs> because I am asleep. <laughs> like uh, last week, um, I was late to work because you guessed it. I was asleep, <laughs> and and I woke up and I see the time and I was like, I have to get to work in ten minutes. Or also like actually see that I'm not there. So I flip out of bed, I shove a bunch of stuff into my bag. I run out the door. I'm in a full. I get there, I am panting like I just climbed Mount Empress, I'm bright red, I sit down, I'm like, okay, I'm here. My job is to sit in the back of a classroom and wait for teachers to not know how to use Zoom. <laughs> I'm a valued member of my team. <laughs> Me and my roommate are very different in, in a lot of ways. Uh, like for example, she has a uh, her great grandpa played uh, the xylophone for the NBC chime that da da da. And then his son, her grandpa, worked on Apollo 11. Um, and then I think his brother was the captain of the Intrepid, like the boat. Um, and you know that sucks for her. Because <laughs> unless she's like the first female president of the United States, she's a horrible disappointment to her entire family. <laughs> well, on the other hand, um, my relatives could not be less famous. Like, imagine any historical fiction movie, like Pride and Prejudice, or like anything that takes place during World War II. My relatives would be like that one background character that has one line that's like, did you hear main character? The war is over. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but I do have, have one sort of famous relative. Um, his name is Billy Bell. He was an Irish mobster. And he was in the San Francisco Chronicle newspaper for, you guessed it, stabbing the mayor of San Francisco. <laughs> that is a person who I am related to. <laughs> You know, that's bad. <laughs> it's good for me though. Cause as long as I don't stab Bill de Blasio, <laughs> I'm my family's pride and joy. <laughs> you know, when my mom told me that, I was surprised. I was surprised. <laughs> uh, not as surprised as maybe I mean, maybe someone else would be, uh, because sometimes my mom will say things and I just simply don't have time to unpack them. Some of my personal favorites. Um, let's see. Gosh, there's there's idle hands are the devil's playground. <laughs> you can figure that one out for yourself. <laughs> Two. People break up all the time. 
that is incredible relationship to advice to uh, receive at the ripe age of 11. <laughs> Speaking of breaking up, is flirting cheating? <laughs> Third, um, um, if everyone were to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge, would you? It's the classic phrase. <laughs> but since I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, Colleen was right. And you know, I, I put something on the internet. You know, some kid named Forrest I went to high school with, remember, NorCal, uh, <laughs> would be like, uh, what, what, what do we do? What do we do if the crime? There's crime. <laughs> so, you know, I sat down and I had to think. And I, and I think I've come to a, a pretty good compromise. We bring back like 1920s detectives that solve crimes <laughs> with their handlebar mustaches. There, there's no institution, they're all private eyes. <laughs> and, and they just, they say things like, I know you killed her because she is your sister, and how do I know that? Because the initials on your handkerchief. Yeah, take that to court. <laughs> and, then, and then like cop shows would be like late night murder mysteries. I will be asleep. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>